Okay, let's take a look at this graph over here to see what's going on. This red line right here is the graph of y equals x plus 6. You've got the horizontal line, y equals 2, and the vertical line, x equals 2, creating this triangle. We're supposed to revolve the triangle about the x-axis, which is this green dotted line here. <clears throat> and, uh, here's the, it looks like this is the setup for the definite integral that will evaluate that plan. It came from this formula, since we're, uh, by the way, we're using the watch method. So the formula is pi times the definite integral from AB of outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. Question is, what is the outer radius and what is the inner radius? Well, for each x value between negative 4 and 2, this distance right here is the length of the outer radius. The typical <clears throat> washer has a uh, it's perpendicular to the axis of revolution right here. So this distance is top minus bottom. And since the axis of revolution has a y coordinate of zero, this distance for each x can be represented by the expression x plus six. That's an expression for the outer radius right there. The inner radius is constant. Every x between negative 4, 2, that's the inner radius, and it's a constant, 2. So what I've got right here, this is the outer radius squared minus 2 squared, minus the inner radius squared. We're integrating from negative 4, 2 along the x-axis. How do you evaluate this uh, by hand? You could say, well, square the binomial, x squared plus 12x plus 36, subtract the 4, so I've got x squared plus 12x plus 32. The definite integral from a to b, well, from negative 4 to 2, I should say, pi dx. So it's a matter of finding an antiderivative for this. Raise the x point by 1. Multiply by the reciprocal of the new exponent. Raise the exponent by 1. Divide by the new exponent. And plus 32x. We want to evaluate this from negative 4 to 2. And, of course, we're going to multiply all that by pi. In the end. Uh, I won't take this all the way to completion, but if we put 2 in for x, we get 8 cubed. If I put 2 in for x, I get a plus 24, and my recommendation is you might start to see that I'm going to have to convert everything to thirds if I'm going to do this by hand. So instead of writing 24, I might write uh, 72 thirds which is 24. And instead of writing 64, I'll convert that to thirds, 192 thirds. And from that, I'm going to subtract what I get when I substitute negative 4 in for x. So I get negative 64 thirds. Put negative 4 in for x, I get plus 96. Uh, and I might convert that to thirds plus 200 or minus 288. Well, that's my move parentheses right now. It's a plus 288 thirds. And if I put negative 4 in for x here, I get uh, negative 128 or 384 thirds. Of course, then I got to remove the parentheses, combine all the fractions that all now have a denominator of three, and there's what I get 432 pi over three. Oh, I guess four goes into 432 evenly. Uh, one, four, four. 
Double check, 12, 1, 13, 144 pi. There you go. Hope that helped.